It's just the same as everywhere. Um, now, after the war, I mean, I know your research is based kind of on war. I mean, all is fixed. The war wounds and scars. So, basically, it's, it's, it's just the same as everywhere in the world. People get around with the same ideas, with the same opinions. People that want to do something get around and then execute it in a way. Yeah. Though it's more difficult because of the temporary situation in the country, because um, we're having a lot of problems with, with, with corruption and um, unemployment and finances, economy basically. So it's kind of more difficult to find money or space to do it. So, like everywhere in the world, just more difficult. Art is basically uh, connected to the world, but I don't think that affected more than any other place in the world. So, you know, there are some things connected to the war and some things not. Yeah. I mean, also the war did make a cultural mess up, with in in in, in the sense of that everything that is mainstream and really popular now here in Balkans is not so positive. So, you know, criminals are being taken as a hero. Um, uh, people who steal, who cheat, who, who do fraud, they're more or less heroes. And also, the culture is not in a, such a good level, you know. There is no much people that, you know, visit the theater or read books or something like that. They're usually, you know, um, getting from it because the mainstream here now is, you know, it's cool, it's cool if you're an idiot. People are dealing with it um, on their own way. So some just say, okay, let's forget it, let's move forward. Some say, um, okay, we are the victims, we're gonna cry about it now. It's it's different, it's individual based. I mean, I can, there is no any, you know, data on it, how do people deal with it. I mean, if you have a dream about it, you know, bad dream, you get up earlier, you're tired and you, um, go to sleep earlier the other day. So this is the way of dealing with it. There is no something like, I'm sorry if it's gonna affect your research, but there's not some kind of a big story there, you know. Okay, we are jumping from cliffs now to deal with the war, you know, memories. It just happened, it's in the past, let's move forward. There is some problems with, with parents, maybe, who have PTSD? Is it PTSD in English? Yeah. Post traumatic uh, yeah. was yeah. PTSD. P? PTSD. Yeah, PTSD, right? All right. So those are the serious problems. But war affected more on on economy, on healthcare, on education, on relations between people, different religions, and uh, you know. That's, that's how it affected more. It's not like, you know, something that is, okay, now we're gonna, you know, be crazy about it. You just move, move on. It affects the youth awfully, because the structure is, our statute is discriminated, I mean, constitution, not that sorry. Uh, it's, it's bad, um, we have too much of administration, too many levels of government, too many people are getting employed in public sector with no reason. And there is also this big problem with our politicians, they kind of have a 
God complex because they are living great because they have you know assets to live great and it affects you and it affects you really badly because some of them are desperate some of them just don't see a reason uh, hope to fight I mean to fight not to kill but I mean to fight in, in, in everyday life you know to pursue the job or to finish school or to be better so it, it leaves young people more or less desperate temporary political system which is awful and funny I mean, I want to inform the way that others don't. That's all. Because young people need the information that somebody will provide uh, that are necessary for them, or relevant. Not some, you know, Kardashian show that's here or there. I mean, that's nice, but that's for the sun. And uh, we try to uh, give them the magazine because we distribute it and it's free. We try to give the right information in their hands. And also we try to um, educate young journalists through our magazine. Our idea is basically to make the media better because our media is also influenced by politics, by economy, uh, by, by economic centers. You know, well, the wealthy people are connected to politics and you know, also the companies, even the private ones. So, that's what we want to do, to inform people on something that's not a regular information in a regular everyday media. Right. I think our politicians on an individual level have a God complex and I'm not joking about it. It's psychological disorder and it really really is uh, highlighted here because imagine if you know imagine the country where like average salary is uh, 400 euros and you earn 3,000 so um, I think that um, the change could come from outside or from the people which is the situation at the moment with the protests. So these are two ways. The government will not change. They will stay the same. It's a process. And I don't want to be, you know, irrealistic or idealistic. I mean, okay, let's bring him down, let's, you know, hang them and throw somebody, you know, who is good. It, it just, uh, it's not the way it works. Every country in transition from communism, socialism, in after war period had problems. So we have problems also. So it's a process it will come if we work on protesting this good. You know, sometimes burning is necessary. I mean, in countries like this, you know, when burnings happen in UK, Germany, so on, it's not necessary because you can make a change with a peaceful process. Here, not so much. So, this was necessary and this was like the least damage that could have been done. So, uh, I think that is, it is the process of, I don't know, in 20 years I think we could have a decent country. If we still keep up the good work like this. But, it, it's, it, it also, uh, it's changing, you know, the intensity of wanting uh, or, or, or people craving for chance, it's changing. So sometimes you have more uh, more people interested in protesting and changing something, sometimes you have less. So 20 years if we keep up the good work. And you know, I don't believe in humans that much, so 40. Of within course, the youth, of course. Within the youth as well. In the youth, unfortunately, of course. And that's the mainstream I was talking about. Yeah. Here, I mean, it's cool to be a fascist. 
a shaman is to hate every other person that is different than you. Here, it's still cool. And that's what we need to change, you know, to put a shame on those people who are, uh, they will still exist, but the general picture will be um, turned around, right? upside down. So uh, they will be ashamed of uh, the things that they should be ashamed of. Because, I mean, um, that's just not right to hate somebody on something that you got by just being bored. Come on, you're not better for it. So, um, that's really a, a thing that still exists. That, and that's a problem, I think. One of the problems. Because many young people are like um, very active in that we are this or that and we hate this or that. So, that's bad. Unfortunately. Uh, that's the first and the basic, the, the mainstream of hatred. Because still it is really cool to hate another person, which is awful, you know. It's, I mean, imagine if it would be cool to, I don't know, go around naked and being arrested all the time. It's, you know, for idiots. And that's the situation at the moment. Their role is to change the focus first and then, you know, join the Europe in a way of cultural change. Today we had a research connected to a project. Um, every third young person in Bosnia has a passport. So two persons, young persons in Bosnia don't have passport and the third has it. Imagine that. So, uh, young people in Bosnia should change Bosnia first, then, you know, speak about Europe. Or do, or I mean, Europe is not perfect, of course. There's a lot of things to be fixed, but we are not even to that level of imperfection. We are less.